until now this is pretty uh, perfectly working right so you can basically calculate anything you can clear this you can use your backspace and uh, you can basically multiply anything that you want you can add subtract or divide all right so now let's just make this calculator work right so what we have to do is we need uh, in every press of button we need uh, all these numbers and we basically need to make all these button work right so uh, let's uh, go to our ide and inside the script what i will do first i'll have to uh, select the display area and then i'll have to select all the buttons so that whenever i'll be working with button i can get the output from that button and i can show that in the display area right so these are the two things that we'll be needing uh, firstly so what we'll do is i'll just say that uh, let display or const display right okay const display equal to uh, document dot query selector and i'll just select the display i'll just pass the id display right so basically what i'm selecting over here is i'm selecting this particular area right this div inside which we will be putting all our number right the display screen that's it so this is basically your display screen so i've selected the display and now what i will do is i'll just select the const uh, buttons so i'll just say document dot query selector and inside this i can pass button right so button is basically an element right and then we also need to select all the buttons right so if you see we have all the buttons over here so what we need to pass over is we need to do query selector all so that query selector all will basically identify this particular element and it will select all the related element to this particular name right so every button will be selected right so now let's go down and let's just uh, do some logic building so now buttons what we'll be doing is we'll be selecting these buttons and we'll say for each button right what we'll do is for each button whichever button will be pressed whichever button will be pressed we will work according to that if a number is pressed we'll be working according to that if an operator is pressed we're working according to that if clear if equal if any button is pressed we'll be working uh, according to that right so uh, buttons for each for every item will work separately so i'll just say item dot on click item dot on click right so whenever we are clicking an item i don't know why this bracket button is not working correctly right so whenever we'll be clicking on uh, an item what we want to do is we want to check for that item right we want to check for that item and we want to check that what a button is actually that uh, particular item that we have clicked right so what we can do for that is we can just choose the item id so what we can do is we'll say if item dot id so just uh, for uh, to basically to make you understand in javascript when you're using a for each method or a map or a filter method right all the higher order functions so this particular argument over here is basically coming from that particular array right so here is your array buttons query selector all so it has selected all the buttons so you have an array like structure right and that has all the buttons inside of that right so whatever button you will click that will go into this item and how we can identify that particular button we can identify that button with the id right because you have passed all the ids unique ids to these buttons right clear slash asterisk backspace 789 and all that right so let's go back all right so if item dot id if item dot id uh, first what we need to do is we need to check for if it is clear right so if it is clear what we need to do is we just need to make our display area clear that's it so if this is basically clear what we'll do is we'll just select our display and we'll say make your inner text make your inner text clear empty right so this basically is empty over here now what we can do is we can say else if 
and inside this else if second button that we need to check is if it is a backspace or not so for the else if condition what will pass will say that hey if this item id is a backspace right so that will be doing over here so let's do that so item dot id is backspace Right. So what is basically the backspace? This grid then symbol that we are using is actually backspace. So it will help you to uh, basically uh, uh, remove uh, the last element. Right. So this is how it will work. So if it is a backspace, so if you see that I have given this the backspace ID. Right. So this is the backspace. So basically if we are clicking the backspace then we want to remove the last element. So how can you remove the last element from a string? Right. So first of all, you need that string. First of all, you need that string. So how can you get the string? So first you need to get the string that is there in the display area. So you will say that, hey, display area, get the string that you right now have. So get your inner text and change this to string, right? Because we need to do some operations over here. And now we'll perform a string operation over here so that you can remove the last element from that string. So what we will do is we'll just say that this display dot in our text update this display dot in our text to basically we want to remove the last element. So what we can use is we can use the sub str method. So we can use the sub str method over here and inside this what you can pass you can pass the index and we can pass the last index so this will basically have the full string right so what we can do is we can just pass the string dot length it will have the last index but now what we need to do is we just need to have a minus one over so that what will happen is if the length of the string is five right so we are expecting a string from zero to five minus one that is four so basically we have zero to four string right so the five the fifth element we have discarded that that is the work of a backspace to remove the last particular element from the string right so we'll remove the last letter from the string so this is how uh, we are actually handling backspace right so we have handled clear button we have handled uh, backspace and now uh, let's just handle some more buttons so now this is uh, basically uh, the important time so how we can actually now calculate the numbers with our operators right so see over here is uh, if basically the display dot inner text display dot inner text is not equal to empty string is not equal to empty string and now the item id that we are getting the item id that we are getting is of equal to so now if basically uh, what's happening over here okay so we need two equal to over here or three equal to over here whatever you prefer so if this is uh, basically item dot id is equal and we have something on our display page so now we need to calculate that so how can you actually calculate that so in javascript you have a very beautiful method that is basically eval method so what you can do is you can just use display dot inner text and you can actually pass on the string that you have inside your display area and you can ask that eval function to calculate it right so how you can do that you can just use the eval method and inside this eval method you can pass display dot inner text this will do the work for you right or else if we are not calculating we just need to show our text right so what we can do is we can just say display dot inner text basically make this to plus equal to whatever is the item id right we can do this all right so now let's just uh, check our uh, basically uh, the project that if all of these functionalities are working or not so what we need to do first is we first need to integrate our script to our html so here uh, in the bottom what i'll do is i'll just use a script tag and inside this i'll pass the script.js file right now let's go back so this is our calculator and let's just try to type something now so i'll say nine so you have nine over here i'll type plus two 
right so 9 plus 2 is over here let's press the equal to button and see if this works or not yes we have 11 let's try backspace all right so this backspace is not working we'll see about this let's try clear ones all right clear is working so let's check about the backspace ones all right so this basically will be a method to string we have to convert this to string right so to string is a method not just string so to string and this two will be small right and so to string this is basically the method that we need to use over here and then the substring right so now i think the backspace issue should get solved so in our calculator 896 and now let's use the okay so backspace is clearing everything up all right so we have some more issues let's check for that as well okay so here the spelling is wrong l e n g t h right? that's what we need now let's check yeah so it is working completely fine right now all right so we have basically done um, uh, we are basically up with all the functionalities it is 89 divided by 9 9.88 is the answer right so this is pretty much clear so the calculator is pretty much working right now and uh, if we are missing something is that if we basically have something empty and we try to uh, press equal to so it will basically print equal right so we do not want to do that so what we want to do is whenever someone is pressing equal and there is nothing on the display screen so we just need to show uh, the uh, empty something is not there so we will say that please uh, type some value right so we can show uh, something like that so let's just handle that as well so what we'll say is we'll say else if uh, display dot inner text right we have your inner text is empty basically it has nothing right it has nothing and uh, if we say that uh, and uh, it say and uh, let's say that item dot id is equal equal to equal so we just want this to have the display dot in our text as uh, please enter something to calculate Right, something like this. Let's go back and check. So, equal. Okay. All right. Let's check what's happening again. Okay. So again, I have forgot one equal to over here. I don't know why my keyboard is not working right. Uh, all right. So here it is. Please enter something to calculate. Right. Let's enter something and let's first clear some clear everything. All right. So you can actually uh, make this happen also. You can just use a set timeout over here. So let me just use a set timeout, and after that, what we can do after two seconds, we will just make our uh, display uh, vanished, right? So display dot in our text. We'll just uh, remove this. Display dot in our text is empty, and uh, do this after uh, some particular uh, time. So what we'll do is. So what we can do over here is we can just have this inside a bracket and we can pass 2000. So after 2000, it will automatically vanish out, right? So this isn't going away. All right, again a typo with this text, right? Okay, it is something to calculate and it vanishes away. All right, so this is uh, basically it for this particular calculator. So now you can do all your arithmetic operations over here, right? So uh, let's just design this uh, display area in a better way so that you can have something like this. So what I will do is I'll just go back to the style.css and I'll just uh, design the display area in a better way, right? So let's do that. All right, so what I will do is I'll just say display flex and I'll say align items at the flex end. So you will see everything at uh, the end. And I'll also say justify content at flex end. Right, so we'll see everything at the end, something like this. And now we want to make it a little bigger. So what all we can do over here is we can uh, pass some font size. So let's say font size is 10 pixels. 
this looks pretty good but uh, let's just give some margin padding so what i will do is i will just uh, give some margin bottom to 20 pixels maybe. yes and now it looks good so this basically is your application this is a demo right so there is no difference at all so now this is pretty, uh, perfectly working right so you can basically calculate anything you can clear this you can use your backspace and uh, you can basically multiply anything that you want you can add subtract or divide whatever you want to do right so this is how basically you can create a simple calculator i hope you enjoyed making this project and uh, do give us a thumbs up do like this video subscribe to the channel we are coming with more awesome projects more awesome courses to uh, for you to basically learn from us right so basically uh, that's it for this project we'll see you with the next project thank you bye bye